Hello my friends and welcome back to another video. If you're a Minecrafter who's a fan of Tolkien, Hobbiton, Hobbits, Lord of the Rings, The Shire, or just maybe you're interested in Hobbit holes in general, then this video is perfect for you. I'm going to be walking you through my process of building a Hobbit hole. I'm not talking about the more extravagant Hobbit holes like Bag End, but the more simple, quaint Hobbit holes that the more average person lives in. These are some of my old Hobbit hole builds that you're seeing right now, and today's build will be similar but somewhat updated. I'm going to be doing this in survival today, so let's hop right in. Firstly, you will of course need your building blocks from your storage. And of course you need your spot to build. I'm building here today, where there's no pre-existing hill already, and there was a tree in my way that I needed to destroy before I could get going here. But now the area is all cleared out for me to begin building. So the first thing I like to do is place my door frame so I know exactly what position the door is going to be in so I could start building out from there. So once I decided where I wanted my door to be, I started modifying the hill a little bit around the doorway. And the next thing I like to do is build the portion of the hobbit hole around the doorway that's going to be exposed. This is what I decided to expose, and then the next step is to start building and forming the hill around this doorway to encapsulate it. So I usually like to arch the dirt over the doorway about one block further than the wall. Forming a hill is of course just by your own discretion and you kind of just feel it out as you go, at least I usually do. I prefer to build my hobbit holes like they were built into a hill rather than a hill was sort of built over them. I like to usually build a supportive beam above the doorway. You can also build this out creating sort of a overhang, but here I decided not to. I am building another hobbit hole to the left of this one, so that affected my plans for forming the hill. But after you've framed the doorway, I like to expand the hill out a little bit and plan the layers slightly, but don't build too far because I don't like to build around the hobbit hole until I've done the interior, because you don't want to build and then have to destroy it later. And I prefer to prioritize what I want the inside to look like before I build the landscape around it. And I'm building on custom terrain here, so I don't have much clearing to do, but if you were building a real hill, you'd have to excavate the interior yourself. So now it's time for the interior. So the first thing I like to do is build the first three blocks and place my hobbit door. Of course, I am building this with my hobbiton texture pack, so I have custom doors, but you can still use default doors and trap doors for this, and it works just as well. Next, I'm going to make a plan of the interior using a floor plan. The main reason I'm making the floor first is because, as you can see, there is no ground beneath me. <laughs> the first room on the left with the window I decided to be the kitchen. The first room on the right was going to be a living room. I decided to put a little pantry here next to the kitchen. And then a bedroom, a lavatory, and another bedroom on the other side of the lavatory. Once I decided how I wanted to lay it out, I started putting in the floors just shaping out each room and for hobbit interiors I like to make them feel a little bit smaller so I don't like to make any of the rooms too large. You want them to be compact and cozy but still detailed and open enough. So I also started putting in all the walls in each room just two blocks high. I decided to change the floor for the kitchen and I put in a wood tile here. I love tiled floors for kitchen. So this stage was simply forming every room with its floors and their walls. For room entrances, I like to do the little round doorways to make it feel more hobbity. A characteristic of hobbit hole interior architecture I like to use a lot is long hallways, which I did here, and we have rooms opening out on the left and the right. I added a little extra room here because I had a lot of empty space, so I put a little closet here. Then once I got all the floors and walls put in, the next step is taking stairs. I could have used dark oak stairs for this, but I decided to use spruce because I have a ton of spruce stairs. Then you outline each room like so with stairs. I don't like my hobbit ceilings to be high at all to emphasize their smallness and to make it feel more cozy and quaint, but I don't like it to be literally two blocks high, so I usually do two and a half blocks high, which I think is the perfect height for hobbit hole interiors. So once you 
surround each room with the stairs, you just fill them in with slabs in the middle. And the hallways, if you have them two blocks wide, usually just have the stairs connect, making a nice little rounded arch on top. So my interior was done structurally now, and it was time to decorate. In my texture pack, I have a lot of custom decorative items, mostly from Mizuno's CIT pack, which I highly recommend. So if you're wondering where I got most of these items from, they're from Mizuno's. Check them out. But obviously, decorating interiors is up to your own discretion yet again. I really just like to make hobbit holes feel cozy and cottagecore-ish. A nice trick for giving smokers some more life is putting a campfire beneath them. Plenty of carpets are very essential for hobbit holes. Most of my carpets are custom and I have a customized version of Articraft's beautiful carpets that I use. I've been trying to put lavatories in most of my houses to make them more realistic. I kind of like darker tones so it feels more like you're underground. I like to use candles and firelight to light them. A good trick to save space in hobbit holes is to make a dual fireplace that lights two rooms up and of course supplies warmth for realism. Sometimes you have to modify the ceiling to adjust for paintings and such. Bedrooms are always really fun to decorate and make homey, but decorating for me is a lot of trial and error and adding and removing. And I'll often use Pinterest photos as inspiration including hobbit artwork, which there's plenty you can find of if you need inspiration. I decided to build a diagonal fireplace for the living room, and I finished decorating that up and finished up all the rest of the rooms. And now we have a completed interior. But before I show you the whole thing, I'm going to go outside and finish up the garden and the exterior, and then I'll show you the inside at the end. So I began with filling in more of the hill just to save myself some work later because obviously I have to fill in the entire landscape behind there. And I made the pathway up to the door and built a fence making a little yard in the front which I often like to do. You can border it with a wall, a fence, a hedge, or you could just leave it open as well. I usually like to try to picture what I want the front garden to look like and then try to execute it. I actually made this one based off of an old hobbit hole that I made that I had to destroy. Some of the common features is a flower garden, a kitchen garden, some window boxes, maybe a wood pile. You could put some garden supplies, a little shed if you wanted, watering cans, flower pots, wheelbarrows. On Pinterest there is also plenty of exterior hobbit hole art pieces and pictures for you to use for inspiration. One of my main sources of inspiration when I was making a ton of hobbit holes in the past was using the real Hobbiton movie set and taking hobbit holes from there and getting inspired by them. I also built a little tree here with some 3D branches which I've been experimenting with lately and I've liked to use them in smaller builds for some extra detail. I'm actually going to release very soon a custom tree tutorial slash just how I build them and uh, it won't include 3d items like that but I hope you're excited to see that but the hobbit hole is finally all finished here we've got the exterior garden all fixed up we've got the hill enclosing it and now I'll walk through the interior real quick and show you around we've got the cute little kitchen and the pantry I love making hobbit kitchens because food and eating is just one of the most quintessential hobbit elements that just makes them so lovable and uh, really brings you into their world here. Again, I also really love having sort of dim lighting, a lot of candles and uh, ambience. And then we have, of course, the little lavatory, the hallway door to the pantry there, and the master bedroom. We have a little closet with some wood piled up. And lastly, the kids' room. And back out into the lovely Hobbit garden. So there we have a build through of a typical Hobbit hole for me, friends. This one is a piece of the new village of Hobbiton that I'm currently making. So you got to see a more intimate view of me building a bit of Hobbiton there. And I'm doing a video very soon on building the rest of the village as I make progress through it with some time lapses and whatnot. It's very exciting and I'm very excited to make more videos. And I'm so happy with all the progress I've made and the changes I've made. I hope this was somewhat helpful and clear and not too convoluted or confusing or or hard to follow but i hope you enjoyed i hope you learned something and i will see you next time my fellow hobbits thank you so much for watching and being here today god bless and farewell mm -hmm.